Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Uh, once again, thank you very much for joining us on Lifestyle today. We are going to be do a very popular um, Middle Eastern dish, Syrian, Lebanese. I guess it's more Syrian. We are going to be fatayr, and it's going to be with spinach. So once again, it's a vegetarian meal, and hopefully those healthy. of our yes, those very of our healthy. friends who very are looking for meatless options are going yeah. to have that tonight. Yeah. Inshallah. Today we're going to be doing some multitasking. Uh, I'm just going to start with the herbal uh, herbal drink today. Um, so it actually came to Sister Zainab's rescue too because she was coughing. <laughs> yes, this thank is you mellow. so much. You're welcome. This is mallow tree, so if the camera could show it. Uh, this is mallow plant. It's purple, and when you actually add water to it, it turns into a really, really sort of electric purple. It's it's a yeah, very interesting bluish, color. Bluish, isn't it? Bluish. So yeah. First, it's bluish, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then but it, the color changes. It turns into purple. Yeah. So this is uh, this mallow plant is actually really yeah. good for coughs. It it uh, it increases the milk the milk supply yeah, of mothers. Look at that color. Yes, oh, exactly. Cool, eh? But it will turn into this one, like yeah, uh, it's it's sort gonna of change brown, brownish, and it smells yeah, very nice. It. So it's actually uh, it, inc it it yeah, increases. Yeah, it smells like it's good for the throat. Yeah, the <laughs> cold. <laughs> It increases yeah. the flow of milk. Uh, it's actually really good um, if you have like a burn. If you use this with uh, oil, olive oil, it's really good to apply it on uh, burning that you get from mm. fire. And there's actually lots of cool information about mallow online. So I suggest you read it and you make it and you enjoy it. Yeah. So I'm going to get started with the filling first. As I said, we're going to be doing fatayr today, uh, uh, spinach fatayr. <clears throat> and uh, it's actually a very filling and rich food and it's very popular. Uh, I've done a dough before on uh, like for the garlic bread, but today I'm going to do, be doing a little bit different dough. It's almost the same. Uh, it's just a little different. You can still use that one. I'm really comfortable with using that for anything that like requires a dough but I'm going to be doing another version of dough today so before Good. we start with the dough I'm going to start with the filling okay so I'm going to actually uh, I have my copper pan and it's heated so I'm just gonna add like one or two tablespoons of um, good quality olive oil and then I'm going to add start by adding my one um, onion that I've actually chopped so it, it, it's actually better if you, chine it, uh, if you chop it finely, if you chine it softly, I wanted to say. <laughs> if you chop it finely, so it's actually smaller. We don't, we don't want to deep fry this or anything. We just want to make it nice and light, okay? So this is going to um, cook for about five minutes. And then to this, we are going to add our green onions. We have three green onions that we've chopped. Um, we actually need the ends as well. So that's going to uh, go inside with the onion. <clears throat> and you could put garlic in at this point, right? Definitely, yeah. Since we have the, the parsley, yeah. so yeah. we're not going to have to worry about the smell. Yeah. But I won't be using garlic today. I'm going to keep the traditional... <laughs> she had to put the, <laughs> the energy down. All right. Uh, one of the main ingredients that we're going to be using for fatayr, for the spinach fatayr, is sumak. Um, mm. And I just brought this to show it to you. It's actually a very beautiful plant. Um, I think it grows... It, it, mm, so these little sort of pieces, these little balls, they're actually the sumak. And inside it, uh, there's mm. a seed, which is quite hard. So when you buy sumak, it's actually ground. So you have to make sure that you take this one out, yeah? So here I've taken out all of the seeds and I have the uh, shells sort of here, right? And you have to sort of make it into a powder. Now this kind of, this fatar is a um, rather savory one. We're going to be using lemon juice and sumac in it. If you don't like savory, if you don't like it too like lemony, I don't like, a, you know, food that is too lemony or savory. I mean, savory as in not in salty, but like uh, acidic. I don't like acidic uh, food, so uh, you can actually uh, sort of adapt that to your liking, your lemon and your sumac. 
Now I'm going to start with the dough while my onion is frying. Okay, so we have five cups of flour and um, I've taken away three cups. I'll tell you why. So here I have two cups of flour as usual. Uh, I, I use four and, uh, four and three quarter cups of flour and one quarter cups of bran. I've actually added that in here. I have one tablespoon of yeast that I'm going to add to, to here. I have one and a half tablespoons of sugar that I'm also going to add in here. Okay, now remember, we should be very careful when we're using our yeast that it should not come in contact with salt because it's going to deactivate our yeast. All right, we don't want that to happen. I have one cup of whole milk, uh, warm whole milk, and one cup of uh, warm water. I'm going to add that. If you don't have milk, okay, it's totally fine. You can go ahead and use water, two cups of water in here. So we're going to add this here, <coughs> and we're going to sort of mix it. We have a sort of like a pancake mixture. Okay, we have <laughs> one third. We have one third of a cup of uh, good quality olive oil that I'm going to add to that. You can make it one four, one quarter of a cup. It's okay, but it's good stuff. So why use less? So I'm just going to uh, mix this, okay? And then when it's all combined, uh, I am going to add my. Oh, and the yeast that I was using, it's actually instant yeast, okay? So it's actually going to activate. Uh, I risked and I didn't prove it. I know I told you that I always proof my yeast, but today I just trusted the fact that it's, a, it's an instant yeast. Here I have uh, one teaspoon of salt. You can use less or more to your liking. And remember the, the kind of salt that you use, okay? If you're using sea salt, it's definitely saltier, so you have to adjust that. And one tablespoon of wheat germ, which is going to go in here. So we are going to mix this and then it's <coughs> going to rest for 10 minutes and then I'm going to come back and start adding my, uh, the rest of my three cups <coughs> and then I'm going to start kneading it. Meanwhile, I'll go to the filling. We are going to be using spinach. I'm using... Um, baby spinach? Uh, no, actually. They're not baby spinaches. They're like normal spinach. Well, They're no. organic spinach. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> you have the option of using uh, frozen spinach, but like I said, do not mm. go for that. I mean, these this plant is so thin and tangible and you know, like just in itself when it's fresh. So imagine this being stored for a month or two months or three months in the freezer. There is no nutritious uh, part left to it. So please use fresh. Uh, we it's really tempting in the West, no? Because everything is frozen. It's so easy and yeah. so, so small packet and cheap. And but here in Iran, no like work. something that I love about here is that you have all these small vegetable shop corners that they clean them, wash them, and they're ready, you know, like you can have them easily every day. So we're using about 600 grams of uh, raw spinach, and when it's, cook, it's, uh, when it's cooked, it's going to be about two cups, okay? So remember that we want all of the water or the juice of the spinach to be vaporized. We do not want a sort of leaky um, mixture, mm. because then it's gonna actually leak out of our fatayr. So I've actually cooked that, and then you can use scissors to sort of like chop them so they're not so big and that's it. Okay, so now we are going to do the filling. Uh, this two cups of spinach that I already cooked and <coughs> all of the juice has gone away. We are going to sort of like separate the spinach and then I also have uh, the juice of one freshly squeezed lemon. Um, and some one cup of fresh uh, parsley, but I also added a little bit of coriander to it. So the, the combination would be actually one cup of parsley and coriander. And then sumac, the one that I showed you, uh, about one teaspoon, but remember how salty, how um, acidic you want your mm -hmm. filling to be. So sumac is acidic and also the lemon juice is acidic. Uh, we also have about mm, a third or a quarter cup of uh, good quality olive oil that we are going to add to this filling. So I'm just going to sort of like separate this out and then we're going to go to the second stage. And then I would also like the camera to show the um, first part of the dough. Uh, the yeast has actually activated and it's bubbled up. So thumbs up for us to go ahead. All right, there we have that. Just gonna wash my hands. Okay, 
So we're gonna go ahead and add our onion. Is that little candle making this water bowl? There's actually three inside. Wow. So, so this is our onion and our green onions that we lightly fried and then I added some turmeric to it and some garlic powder. We didn't have fresh garlic so I used garlic powder. I'm gonna add that to this um, spinach. Is it okay to add like um, tamarind inside to make it sour and like bit, if you don't have summer? Or zeresh, how do you say zeresh? Barberry. Oh, yeah, barberry. Yeah. Barberry. I've seen pe that people in. using yeah. barberry yeah. and walnuts inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It would be nice, walnuts. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. walnuts. And or sunflower tamarind. seeds. Mm, sunflower seeds, yeah, that's a great inside. idea. But some people are allergic to these things. Yeah, that's yeah many people. So one cup of uh, chopped parsley and coriander. <laughs> this is not cooked, this is the raw one. I'm gonna add this. We're gonna add one medium um, tomato that I've actually chopped really, <coughs> diced really finely. Uh, and remember, if your um, tomato is really juicy, you sort of wanna make sure that you take the seeds out a little, cause you don't like, it's really important to not have a juicy sort of batter here. Um, we're gonna add our sumac. Okay, yeah, so don't. we're gonna add uh, our olive oil. Similar. Sunflower seeds. And that's it. Mm, that's so the yummy. filling and it smells so good. So remember that I said this is two cups of flour plus the water plus the milk plus the yeast and sugar and salt and all that. This is the remaining three cups of flour that I'm just going to add to here. And we are going to again whisk it. But here we're going to sort of get our hands dirty. I'm going to flour my, my surface and I'm going to start kneading. I could have done this with the bread mixture, with the actually stand mixer. But since we've been doing quite a few dough recipes with that, I thought it's unfair to those of you who don't have a stand mixer. So that's it. I'm just going to start massaging it and kneading <laughs> okay, it. Okay, thank you. Good job. <laughs> so this is my, actually this is a batch of dough that I brought from home because it needs to rest mm -hmm. for one hour uh, or in, in actually a warm place. It needs to double in size. So it depends on the country you're living, the climate you have, the altitude, the humidity. Uh, it needs to double in volume. Uh, we don't have the time, so I made this from home and I let it rise overnight. Now, one thing that I really um, suggest you do is to actually make that whenever you're making dough, uh, to actually leave it uh, to rise overnight because the, the, the flavors actually really combine much better when they uh, rest overnight in the fridge mm -hmm. and they will slow, <clears throat> the process of rising will actually happen slowly. So, for the amount of the dough that I explained to you, uh, you actually get quite a big uh, batter. So I divided that um, dough into 16 balls. Now 16 balls will give you like a rather large uh, fatayr. If you don't want it so large, you can actually go ahead and divide it into 20 pieces. And uh, one more thing that I wanted to add about dough is that do not pull apart your dough, do not stretch it because uh, the gluten inside is actually gonna all get mixed up and messed up. So you wanna cut it, use a knife to cut the dough, all right, or pinch it off. Don't stretch it like that. Uh, so I have my 16 pieces, I have my filling, I added to it um, salt and pepper and I thought it needed a little bit more garlic. Of, uh, <laughs> Lemon? Garlic? Yeah, it needed more uh, acidity, so a little bit more of... Uh, I'm always here to bother you about the garlic. No. <coughs> Lemon juice, and we have our egg wash, which is a mixture of one beaten egg, mm. some milk, and I added some turmeric because uh, it actually gives it a sort of nice uh, glow, yellow color to it. All right, now this, if the top camera can show this, we're going to be using this as our topping. You don't have to use anything as the topping. You, it's traditionally just made plain but I like to make it look more colorful. So these are black seeds and we talked about the benefits. These are cayenne pepper, uh, dried cayenne pepper or chili. And this is saf safflower. It's not saffron, it's safflower. And I just want <coughs> to show you the difference between saffron and safflower. So again, mm -hmm. I need the camera. So 
just by smelling it you will know i mean like when i open the lid of this jar it, it just it's like sister nasreen said it's intoxicating really and the threads of saffron are way more red mm. and they're drier okay so it'll actually <coughs> fall apart if you touch it but this one it's quite <coughs> quite uh Spongy, what do you call it wet uh moist. no no. Dry? <laughs> uh, it's, they're <laughs> they're actually it. quite strong, so they uh -huh, don't really strong. like powder mm. that, that mm. quickly. So I'm just going to do a demo of one, and then you guys can go ahead, and then yes. I'll just continue, yeah? So we are going to flower our surface. You, I'm going to be using bran instead of flour. To, oh, this is flour, actually. I'll go ahead. Never mind. <laughs> I actually put bran in there, but then... It's not poison. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So we have. We're gonna take one ball, sort of make it round. I love playing with dough. It's so therapeutic. <laughs> Massaging the dough. <laughs> kneading it. Kneading it. I don't know why. Like the word just That's left nice. my mind. That's nice. Yeah, you my can mind. use it. Wow. Massaging instead of kneading. <laughs> All right. You can use the tip of your fingers to spread this, and I'll show you. <clears throat> It's perfectly okay if you don't have a rolling pin, <coughs> but rolling pins are generally really cheap, and they they come use in a bottle. handy. Or Glass, a bottle. bottle, yeah, whatever. Or you know these wrap cling wraps rolls. Oh yeah, I use those sometimes. So we're gonna make it the size of a little bigger than your hand, and my hands are quite small, so maybe a little bigger than this. How thick should the dough be? Again, like I said, uh, you have to see like how much of the batter you made, but it shouldn't be so thin to um, tear. tear it. Yeah. So this was with the rolling pin, yeah? I'm going to do one with my fingers. Say we don't have a rolling pin. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just take some water and... Uh, <coughs> I'm going to sort of like dip my finger and go around mm. it because we want to seal the edges of this um, sort of fatayer and we don't want it to come out, okay? Like the beauty of it is that in, it's in the form of a triangle. Mm. So we're going to use a generous helping of the filling, which smells awesome by the way. Okay, so here I have my fatayer. It's actually rolled. We're gonna pe we're gonna pinch the sides to make sure that it is sealed. It's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> this is dry. this is actually a quite a big serving. So yeah, it's it gonna it be. It looks like, like a, samosa, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks like samosa. So then I'm gonna brush it with my egg wash and then start decorating it. Okay, so I actually. Um, what do you call it? Filled the dough with the spinach filling. And I showed you, you have to s make sure that the uh, edges and the corners are all pinched very well and they're sealed because you don't want the juice oozing out. And I'm putting, I'm applying the egg wash now and I'm going to be doing like sort of different kinds of dressing. And my oven is actually preheated to 200 uh, degrees and it's really, really hot. So it's going to need about 12 minutes in the oven. And if you think that the tops like need a little bit more, you can... That's pretty good. 12 minutes is not too much. Because uh, the filling is cooked. We just need the dough mm. to cook, right? Yeah, it's just baking That's bread. It. Yeah. That's it, yeah. All right, so... And I'm also going to be doing like one open fatayr. So like if those of you who are uncomfortable with like sort of doing this, even though I showed you, it's very easy. So this saf color, uh, saf flower, I'm just using it for sake of beauty. That's it. 